There are just a lot of things going on with Jerry Mobile lately. The company is being buoyant in releasing new devices in almost a monthly basis. We've just seen the 1G1 last August, the new Intel-powered Maya devices on September, and now the new Flare devices. These new updates from their renowned lineup are called the Flare 4, Flare S4, and the one we have here, the cream of the crop, the Flare S4 Plus. Does the Flare S4 Plus worthy for the bong for the buck title? Like what its predecessors are? Let's figure that out in our full review. If there's one common denominator to all of the recently announced Flare devices, it would be their exquisite build quality. The Flare S4 Plus, S4, and the Flare 4 are built with aluminum alloy sides, which gives not only a premium look to the devices, but also made it feel nice in the hands. The S4 Plus's chamfered edges is also screaming in sturdiness. The device just feels solid. And of course, the iconic vertical lights on the alloy body makes an appearance. We've seen this on a lot of recent Apple smartphones as an obtrusive network antennas. The robustness doesn't end there. The front of the device is also heavily protected with Dragon Trail glass, which can surely withstand some scratches from your keys or spare coins, in case you accidentally have them all together in your pocket. Although Cherry Mobile didn't go all out with the device's masculinity, the S4 Plus's back panel is made from only cheap plastic. However, the material is a bit shiny, thus can be suspected as glass in quick glance. But considering the already terrific metal sides and the superior front glass, and also the limitations that can be caused by the price tag, it is really forgivable. However, the back cover is unreasonably non-removable, so you're stuck with its relatively small 2800mAh battery. Speaking of the build material, probably the one major consequence of using metal as a material of choice is the substantial weight that can contribute to the overall mass of the device. The S4 Plus has a pretty noticeable heft to it, especially when compared to other all-plastic devices like the Asus Z Phone Selfie, which is also a 5.5-inch smartphone. Right in front of the device sits a large 5.5-inch Full HD IPS OGS display with an 80 by 1920 resolution and has a 401 pixels per inch. Display quality is pretty satisfying. The contrast is a bit on the soft side and the saturation is a little bit dull. Viewing angles and outer visibility is also acceptable. But on the brighter note, sharpness is really out of question as everything looks crispy. There are also three capacitive buttons just below the display, which are kinda hard to see as they are not illuminated like what we usually see in almost all devices. I wish Cherry Mobile had the buttons colors pop out so it doesn't look so discreet which makes it really hard to distinguish. These are the menu, home, and back buttons. The menu button is also a bit painful to use since the majority of Android devices today rather utilizes a recent apps button. Having the long press the menu button to switch between applications is a bit annoying. There are also other different physical buttons. The lock and power switch and the volume control sits perfectly on the right side, which are also constructed in metal, although they are unnecessarily thin, thus making it less tactile. The left side has two slots, one for a micro SIM card, and the other is for either a nano SIM or a micro SD card slot, which is capable of up to 64GB. Yup, the second one is only capable of supporting either a SIM or an external storage. But to lighten things up, the Flare S4 Plus is capable of 4G connection. The bottom of the device has the micro USB port and the what seems to be a stereo speaker. Nope, the other grill is only for aesthetical purposes so everything looks symmetrical to the actual speaker. This extra grill could have become more useful if they have placed the built-in microphone there rather than having it on the bottom chin of the device, leaving a tiny awkward hole to an almost seamless border. The speaker's outplacement can make it easily be covered by your hands when using the device on landscape, like when watching videos or playing games. The Cherry Mobile Flare S4 Plus utilizes some big guns inside. 
We're talking about MediaTek MT675G chipset, an octa-core processor with a clock speed of 1.3 GHz, a surprisingly large 3 GB of RAM, and a Mali T720 GPU. Some are maybe dismayed about the company's move to use a slightly underpowered processor, considering that this one has a large 1080p display. For a perspective, Cherry Mobile's earlier devices like the Flare S3 Octa and the Flare XL uses a 1.4 GHz octa processor for their smaller 5-inch 720p displays. But nonetheless, the chipset on the S4 Plus was still able to handle the gigantic display very well. Everything is decently smooth from browsing the home screen, social media surfing, and any other light and productivity applications. The 3GB RAM is also distinct on this one, which makes shifting from different applications seamless. And app restart when going back from previous applications is non-existent. It is in gaming that we saw the device struggle a little. Game titles like SimCity, Need for Speed No Limits, and Mortal Kombat run fairly decent, although some occasional frame drops are present. Overheating is also in attendance during gameplay. The metal sides kinda exaggerate the heat, which can be annoying after some extensive gaming. The Flare S4 Plus runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop. And just like all Cherry Mobile smartphone, this thing also has a stock Android interface, which just basically translates to a more familiar and more fluid user experience. But it's not always clear skies, as Cherry Mobile still packed some pre-installed apps, which we think nobody actually uses. From Cherry Mobile's homemade applications that you cannot read off, up to some third-party applications, which can either be disabled or thankfully uninstalled. Cherry Mobile added some tricks on the user experience. For one, Smart Wake is present for some off-screen gestures. Double tapping the display wakes it up. Plus, you can also draw different shapes or letters to quickly perform shortcuts or quickly launch apps. Gesture sensing utilizes the large and conspicuous proximity sensor to recognize your hands as you hover over the display. Probably our favorite use of this is the ability to unlock the device instantly, which is pretty clever. Adding to its already admirable properties is its pumped up camera sensors. The Flare S4 Plus sports a 16 megapixel primary camera and an 8 megapixel front facing one for some elaborate selfies. With its pixel packed primary sensor, the sharpness from the photos it can produce is out of question. Details are on point, especially on a scenario with good lighting. Contrast is also appropriate, but saturation is a bit horrible, which makes color production looks artificial. No light photos also entails the same story, only with a lot more visible noise and grains, but still pretty usable and worth sharing online. A lot of people were worried with the device's modest battery capacity. Considering its overall heavy built processor and a large, high resolution display. Moreover, the Flare S4's 2800 milliamp battery is non removable. But what's surprising is, our battery test results came close to our passing mark. Screen on time lasted the device for almost 3 hours and 50 minutes, just 10 minutes shy from the standard 4 to 5 hour mark that we're getting from other devices that we have tested. We did repeat this test to confirm and really solidify the results, as it is really doubting. And the results that we got is still nothing different. That test consisted of non-stop web browsing, streaming YouTube videos, and gaming. While light to moderate usage like casual social media surfing, sending and receiving SMS, and brief gaming lasted the device for almost 12 hours. Cherry Mobile may have just found the right balance in creating a smartphone, a well-crafted device with some muscle inside. The sturdy metal sides not only made it tough, but also stunning. The powerful processor can surely handle day-to-day -day tasks, which is also assisted with its large 3GB of RAM. The camera can also please its prospective users, which is one of the best that we have seen in its class. But not everything is banged up with the Flare S4 Plus. 
the modest battery capacity may not accommodate the power users like gamers. Considering the device's large and pixel pack display and the octa-core processor that are certainly hungry for juice. Also, the addition of backlighting in the capacitive buttons would be highly appreciated. Cherry Mobile may be attempting to reach two different markets, the power users and the trendy hipsters. And with that, the S4 Plus can possibly satisfy them. But juggling these two considerations at once is not easy, considering that this device is retailed for only 7,999 pesos. The Cherry Mobile S4 Plus is a hybrid of being a beautiful and a powerful device, but not the best of both worlds. This has been Noy Piggy's full review of the Cherry Mobile Flare S4 Plus. For a more detailed talk about this device, make sure to check out our full review link below. You might also want to hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it. And also subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you for watching.